Hi and welcome to my latest vlog. I'm all fresh and shiny faced and fluffy hair because I've just had a shower this evening. It is 20 past 8 and I just felt a bit bleh. So decided to jump in the shower and freshen myself up a bit and then do a blog for you lovely people. Now today I'm going to blog about some skincare products and beauty products really that are safe for pregnancy. I've been very careful of what I put on my skin, I think I've said in the past on what sort of cleaning products I use to make sure they haven't got any nasties in them like oxybenzone or SLS, things that can be absorbed through your skin and can be harmful if they get into your bloodstream and to your baby. So I did a search for makeup really that would sort of cover my face and make me look pretty for when I go for work meetings. I've actually been really quite lucky during my pregnancy so far, touch wood. Um, my skin's actually been pretty good as you can see, it's, it's not bad at all really. Um, but it's still nice to sort of do yourself up a bit when you want to go out and also if you've got to face people at work. I obviously work myself and so it's not too often but when I do go to meetings I like to look presentable. So. I have used a brand for quite a while um, called Jane Airedale and it was one of the original mineral makeups that was out there. I use a powder foundation which I love, I used it on my wedding day, I use it every day very easily, when you take it off your skin still feels great um, compared to a lot of other makeups where you can feel greasy and horrible and actually my skin feels better for using it as opposed to worse. So I wanted something I could really a, a liquid that would go all over my face very easily, gives me some more hydrating properties because my skin has been probably on the drier side during pregnancy as opposed to oily which it was before and so I've gone for their BB cream. Now it's a bit different to other BB creams it's, I would say, probably a little bit thicker, so you don't need very much of it at all. Literally, a blob goes a long, long way. But it gives amazing coverage, it evens out all your skin tone and makes you look very fresh-faced. Um, it's not heavy at all on, you, don't, you wouldn't notice it was there, and your skin is as soft as anything with it on. Here, is, here it is, the one they have. It's called Glow Time. And there's Jane Airedale. It has a factor 25 in it as well. So you're also protecting your skin when you're wearing it as opposed to having to put a <coughs> sun cream on and then your moisturiser on the top or vice versa. And so it, it, is, it is a great product. I would really recommend it. This is the, the box it comes in. That's good. And I seriously recommend it. It's a really nice product to use every day. And, you know, I'm hoping that when baby comes along, I don't look too exhausted. But I'm sure I can just put this on in the morning and it will just freshen my entire face up. And you can then put a bit of bronzer on top, powder, or put a bit of blusher on, whatever works for you. But even on its own, it, it does make you feel a lot fresher. And it's got a lovely smell to it. It's like a fruity smell. It's really quite delicious as opposed to chemical. But there's no nasty in it, no oxybenzone, no SLS and anything that's going to be harmful to your skin or to your little one inside or when it comes out through breastfeeding. Jane Airedale also does um, some great products for the eyes. Now I don't have their eyeliners or anything but I do have a sample of their Pure Lash Extender and Conditioner. Here it is, this is a little sample. I've been trying this recently, I haven't bought the full bottle yet, but I've been trying this out to see what I think to it. And actually, it's really quite nice. I can't say that my lashes feel particularly different, but they do definitely curl up more when I put my mascara on afterwards. So I put this on first, and then leave it to dry, I normally put it on, then I dry my hair. And then I put my mascara on, which is another Jane Airedale product, which... I'm just trying for the first time. Mine's Black Oryx and it is their Mineral Cosmetic Cosmetics Mascara. It's got quite a nice brush with it. 
it goes on really nicely. It doesn't clump at all. Well, I haven't found it's clumped. I put this um, one on first, and obviously, as I say, leave it to dry, and then put this over the top. And it does give you nice separate lashes. I haven't got any on at the moment. I'm actually quite lucky to have long eyelashes, I'll be honest. But I do like them to curl up a bit more, and I don't use any sort of clampers or eyelash curlers. I tend to do it naturally. and. These two products definitely work. They separate them out for you and give your eyes that sparkle. I shall do a video when I've got some on and show you as well, but I just thought I would share them with you this evening. Um, another product that I have got recently and I've been using as part of my skincare regime in the morning, you'll all be aware that I use Mugu's full cream all over my body, including my face, and it's a great product. Um, but my mother recommended this to me and she said it was great and I said, oh, I'll try it at some point. And then I read of several other people that use it, including the Duchess of Cambridge. Um, she doesn't necessarily, I don't think, use Mugu, but another form of rosehip oil. Theirs is 100% certified organic rosehip oil. Obviously a cow on the front for Mugu. And it doesn't smell particularly nice but it is amazing stuff. It makes your skin feel beautiful. And I think it probably does add a glow. It says it's rich in fatty acids and antioxidants to moisturize and hydrate skin. And I think it does exactly what it says on the tin. Be careful if you do get this because if you squirt it, it does go everywhere. So the best thing is to hold it right against your fingers. You only need one squirt, rub together, massage all the way around your face and then I use my Mugu full cream over the top of it once it's dried but it's it's really lovely stuff and your skin feels really soft it's my skin's I think a little plumper possibly from using it and possibly from pregnancy I think you get that chubby glow <laughs> when you get into your third trimester which I seem to have gained now and now we've had some lovely weather in the UK uh, it's about time to get maybe my legs out or have nice to have a sort of glow on my arms and my body and I've been very careful because I know there's a lot of things in self tanning lotions that aren't great and I think a lot of the products are okay but they say not to go in tanning booths because the inhalation of the tanning sprays um, can cause issues so I did a lot and lot of research and was umming and ahhing over whether to use anything or not um, but now I'm in my third trimester I thought it's probably a little bit safer um, hopefully and I also went for my trusted brand of Mugu now this is a great product called How Now Brown Cow which I think is fab it's a gradual tanning lotion and it's basically their full cream moisturizer that I use every single day with a very small amount of tanning um, extract in it and it is a completely naturally derived tanning ingredient that they put in it. So there is no worries about nasties. Let you have a closer look. It is fantastic stuff. And it comes out really nice. It gives you a nice glow. You don't look too silly. Um, I tend to sort of just put a little bit on like moisturiser maybe twice a week on my legs and um, on my face and neck and arms just a little bit and then all the other days I use my full cream anyway to keep topped up and it it does give you a subtle glow I don't have much of a glow at the moment I haven't put it on for a few days um, but it's I would recommend it especially if you're getting the sunshine or having nice weather wherever you are in the world and you just want to Get rid of the milk bottle look because my tights, my legs are pretty scary. My husband said to me the other day before I had used any of this, uh, when I was going out, he said, oh, aren't you going to wear tights for that? I was like, no, tights are really uncomfortable when you're pregnant. Even the maternity ones, well, the maternity ones I have just seem to fall down. Um, and he was like, I think you really should wear tights, which meant to me, my legs are like milk bottles. Actually, I think they are paler. Um, and they are slightly bruised around my knees because of Daisy, our goat that we've got, who likes to headbutt me every morning when I'm mucking out my horse's stable. They're 
pretty unattractive bruises around the backs of my knees, but this certainly helps them not stand out so much. So I would really recommend it. It's an Australian brand, as I've said before, but Mugu is fantastic stuff. Their full cream, if you want a moisturizer, is second to none. Um, I love it. So far, so good. Touch wood. I really probably should touch wood with regards to stretch marks, but I'm moisturizing like mad, and I know it's hereditary whether you get it or not. There's nothing you can do to stop, but I think helping your skin as much as you can is important and apparently from research um, moisturizers made from milk proteins create 20% more elasticity in your skin so carry on with Mugu if you're doing it or give it a try um, their website is mugu.com or .co.uk if you want to check them out I have one more thing to share with you today now as you're all aware I have a big bust and whilst my website is called Milky Mountains for the reason and I have really struggled with bras. I had those Royce bras which I still wear now which are really good and great but they just don't make you feel particularly sexy or attractive especially when one boob is going right and the other one is going left. So I've continued to search for more and more bras. I think I'm probably going to end up designing one myself because I think there might actually be a market for bras that actually separate you in the middle or certainly give you some support in the middle so you don't end up with the mono boob. Um, but obviously I've come up with a talcum powder solution for the time being to help prevent any soreness there. But I wanted to share with you a very pretty bra that I have just received in the post. This one is by Panache. It's called their Sophie Bra. Don't laugh, it's rather large because this is their largest size, well, cup. Anyway, this is actually a 34J cup. So, yes, I can fit my head inside it, but it is really pretty. I shall hold it closer for you. And it is a nursing bra because I thought I might as well go straight for nursing bras. It's slightly too big for me now because at the moment I'm only a double H. But I know that when milk comes in they will get bigger, heaven forbid. Um, and I wanted to have some preparation for it. And you can wear these now. It's not like a underwired cut that's all formed that looks silly. They can actually still give you the support you need even if they're sort of a size too big. But they pop for breastfeeding down like that. And you've got the lovely pink underneath as well, which obviously supports around the side of your boob that's in here. And then it clips back up like so. And they are actually very pretty. And you can get this in also a cream with a black lace as opposed to the cream lace with the pink underneath. And they also do matching pants as well, I think, and thongs. Um, which would be quite nice, especially as if you're going away. We are actually going to have a little trip away before little one comes. So um, I feel slightly more attractive when I'm wearing this as opposed to my voice bras. It also doesn't make your boobs go right and left, um, which is always a bonus when you're trying to not look at, like a frumpy granny in a pretty dress that you've got. So that's it um, for today. I think I've shared quite a lot with you. If you have any questions please just post them for me i'm now 29 weeks and five days so coming up to the 30 week mark and growing rapidly baby seems to be growing straight out not up not down but um i believe that at the moment i'm not suffering from any heartburn or anything so i think that might be the benefit of which way it's growing but i do sometimes feel like he's going to come out my belly button i say he i still don't know what it is honestly everybody is convinced it's a boy my mother says he all the time but um we don't know and it's going to be a bit of a shock i think to everyone if it comes out as a little girl so i'm going to share with you in, on another blog some of the knitting my dear grandmother has done it's her first great grandchild and she's made the most beautiful little cardigans and booties and bits and pieces so i will share with them with you and on another day any questions let me know please sign up and subscribe to my channel and then you'll get these updates as often as i do them take care have a good evening Bye.